What's up, gamers? And in this video, what I'm going to be showing you guys is how we're going to be able to give each other aircrafts in the game. And then more towards the end of the video, I will be talking about how we're going to be able to save these inside of our hangar. So this is the Give Cars to Friends glitch, which I recently posted. But we're going to be doing aircrafts instead. I'm going to show you guys how we're going to be doing this, okay? So we will need to get glitched out here over at our friend's special vehicle warehouse. So my friend has gone over to a special vehicle warehouse. I'm over here too. He's got a special vehicle and we're going to go ahead and get myself glitched out because I'm the one that needs to get glitched out because I'm the one that's going to be receiving a modded, you know, aircraft from one of my friends here. All right, you guys. So before we go into the garage, make sure that your friend registers as a CEO president and sends you an invite. So you're going to just go ahead and be an associate at this time. Perfect. Now we're going to get into the vehicle. Your friend is going to hold down the interaction menu. And we're just going to drive into the garage and nothing's going to happen. Then your friend's just going to step out of the vehicle and then just walk away. We're going to scooch over to the driver's side, make sure the vehicle starts. And then we're just going to go ahead and exit the vehicle at this time. Now what we're going to do is pop open our interaction menu. We're going to go into inventory and we're going to request our RC Bandito and or our RC Tank at this time. Now, this is just the indication to let us know that we are glitched out as we should be seeing our character flash just like this. Now, I know that I'm glitched out. So the next step is I'm going to deregister from my friend's CEO. And then from here, we're gonna pop open our interaction menu. We're gonna go into services and we're going to request our mobile operations center uh, at this time, okay? And then of course, stored inside of the mobile operations center, you guys will need Bay 3 is a personal vehicle storage and we're gonna go ahead and have a Fagio stored inside of the back of the mobile operations center. We're gonna lose the Fagio and we're gonna replace it with a modded vehicle instead. So at this time, we're gonna need our friend to go get our mobile operations center. If we leave this area, we're gonna get unglitched, okay? So that's gonna be important right here. And then from here, I'm just gonna pop open my interaction menu and I'm just gonna go ahead and request that Fagio out of the back of my mobile operations center. I'm gonna go ahead and get on the Fagio and I'm gonna tell my friend to get on the back. When my friend gets on the back of the Fagio, tell your friend to stay on the pause menu, okay? So just tell your friend to hit the pause menu and just stay on here. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to drive into the blue circle and press right on the D-pad. Nothing should happen. Your friend's going to get kicked off and you're not going to get sucked in. So what we're going to do at this time is take the Fagio and we're going to go ahead and move it just away from the back of the mobile operations center. All right, cool. So now what we're going to do at this time is hit a Franklin alert at least two times. I like to do it two times just to stay on the safe side. All right, guys, so what we're going to do at this time is we're going to walk into the blue circle and choose the first option, enter alone. Now, at this time, we're going to be stuck in an infinite black loading screen until we hit that Franklin alert. So what we're going to need to do is tell our friend right now to get the vehicle that we want. We could be getting most of any vehicle from our friend, okay? And right now, he's just going to be taking this modded Hydra and storing it right here where the give cars to friend spot is at. And then I'm just going to go ahead and accept that Franklin alert and then back out of it. And then from here, we're going to spawn invisible. So just hurry up and run towards the vehicle and then start spamming Y or triangle. So at this time, I just got sucked into the back of my mobile operations center. And then from here, what's going to happen is I just need to like get out of here. Yeah, the vehicle's blown up or something like that. But I just need to like exit somehow because it will get glitched out. If you guys use like a really big aircraft and you can use really big aircrafts, okay? We're talking in any type of aircraft yeah you can store it inside of the back of your mobile operations center like a volatile or something like that you know okay so from here check this out interaction menu and then i'm going to go into my services we're going to go to mobile operations center and the like we're going to request that personal vehicle then check this out so now the personal vehicle that's inside of the back, like the back of my MOC is this aircraft, which is modded. Now let's talk about how we're going to be saving this vehicle over at our hangar. So you guys are going to need a hangar, of course, and then your hangar needs to be completely full. So you can fill your hangar up with something like free buzzards from your CEO. Just keep like calling out buzzards and then flying them into your hangar until your hangar uh, is absolutely filled up and then the, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our modded vehicle or something or the aircraft that we got from our friend and we're gonna fly it to our hangar we're gonna get that full alert we're gonna accept the full alert and then we're just gonna simply replace the vehicle with like you know a buzzard or something like that that isn't modded whatsoever and then from there you guys should be able to keep any type of aircraft I've actually done this a lot with people uh, you know 
in the past and things like that with just lasers over, you know, at the military base. We would just grab a laser and be like, that thing is $6.5 million. Like, who wants to pay six, uh, $6.5 million for a laser regardless if it's modded or not? But anyways, I do have like a modded one in here somewhere. But as you guys can see, I got my hangar like completely filled with modded uh, airplanes from, you know, other players and stuff like that. And just myself doing merge glitches and stuff throughout the years. But anyways, from there, if you guys ended up enjoying the video and it was helpful, hit that like button down below on the way out. Subscribe for more content. Leave a comment. Follow me on Discord and Twitter. But from there, thank you guys for watching. My name's Gravesite, and I'll see you in the next one. So, peace.